Okay, we're moving on to construction four, which is on your course for both ordinary level and higher level at junior cert. And the construction is you take a line segment, you take a point on the line segment, we'll call it P, typically called a line segment a, from A to B, and we're going to construct something at 90 degrees to this. So that's what you'd be starting with in an exam to give you all of that. Okay. Um, so this is what I do. I want this. They won't have any lines. So you'd come in here with your ruler, and you'd make a parallel line here. Okay, because the ruler is exactly parallel. You have two parallel lines on the ruler, and you bring your ruler down here, and line up the ruler and hold it very carefully with your spread out fingers here, maybe four fingers spread out. Okay. Now. Um, I can't do anything about the thickness of the ruler that was that thick and you slide this along so that it's it's sticking up this way. The advantage of this is as you draw this line segment and the question was, question 4, line perpendicular to a given line passing through a given point. So it didn't say it's just go in one direction. So that way you're done. You're finished from there. That's that construction. Very, very easy. Now let's read the words, to spell out the words, line perpendicular, I can say that, to a given line, and they call it L, passing a given point. But I know that this would put anyone off, compared to just doing it so simply the way we did earlier. So let's do another one. The ends don't really matter. Okay, so let's call this P prime because we call this P. I want to go through this. Take my ruler, draw a parallel line, take my set square. You can keep the ruler on that parallel line, but it's, you see it's left there, then they can see what you did. Take your, your set square. You might just tell them, hey, look, I just used a set square. Okay. And that's the perpendicular line. It's not a bisector because it doesn't bisect anything, but it's a perpendicular line through P.